We're beginning a new decade, a new time for Clarksville. I have never been more excited to be a part of this community. By taking projects and programs that have been talked about for decades, working together, we are making it happen. As you drive through different areas of the city, you can see progress going on all around you. One of the areas where progress is most apparent is in our River District. Construction is ongoing on Liberty Park and the new Clarksville Marina. This massive project isn't just for boaters and fishermen. Once complete, there will be something for everyone to enjoy, including two and a half miles of walking trails, several new ball fields, a bigger and better Wilma Rudolph Pavilion, and the new and exciting Freedom Point. In the near future, you will also see intersection improvements with lane additions, landscaping and lighting at Riverside Drive, and the new entrance into Liberty Park. The future should include a streetscape project to include decorative lighting and sidewalks from the pedestrian overpass to Highway 4813 to complete the redevelopment of Riverside Drive. We will be working with businesses to encourage renovation and revitalization of Riverside Drive for more shopping, eating, and recreational enjoyment by developing creative financial incentives. The City Council and I have made a significant investment in this year's budget for the enhancement for the Riverwalk Extension at McGregor Park. Several acres behind Old Charlie's will soon transition into a beautiful mixed-use development for retail stores, restaurants, and residential living. A major accomplishment for all the citizens of Clarksville is right in the heart of our city, the Clarksville Greenway. Thousands of visitors have enjoyed this 3.6 mile walking and biking trail since it opened in September. Response to this nature trail has been tremendously positive, requiring a larger parking lot to accommodate the large number of visitors. Discussions have already begun to expand the trail to the pedestrian bridge overpass of the 101st Parkway, and this trail will continue along the new Peaches Mill Road to Tiny Town Road. The addition of the Children's Fountain and the renovation of Strawberry Alley are helping to bring new life to our downtown district. By working together and making it happen, we now have a state-of-the-art medical facility, Gateway Medical Center. Dunlop Lane is an attractive new thoroughfare in front of the new hospital with millions of dollars of new investment in the area. Hemlock Semiconductor has begun construction on its $1.2 billion initial investment and creating hundreds of jobs for our community. With Outlaw Field as the first impression of our community for many potential investors, a makeover is necessary and long overdue. By partnering with the county, a new terminal is being designed with construction drawings to be complete by February 28, 2010 and construction to be complete by the spring of 2011. The railroad bridge over the Cumberland River will get a facelift in the coming months because of the efforts of city and county leaders working together on a grant for the repairs. What you see today at the intersection of Riverside Drive and North 2nd Street was created through a partnership with the state of Tennessee. Now that construction is complete, you have wider lanes with the city funding decorative lights to match already existing poles along Riverside Drive and new LED signs providing great visibility of street names at night. As you can see in the city of Clarksville, we have a lot going on. We are all working together. We are all making it happen.